Hello there, how's it going? Um, so this video is going to be about uh, generating new columns from a nested data frame, uh, a nested JSON. So, uh, for example, this is the uh, JSON we're going to deal with. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to generate a, a column for work ID and a column for degrees. So the way to handle this is by using from JSON and explode method in Spark. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me define a new data frame called V via DF2 called DF2. I mean, then I'm going to use a DF1 dot with column. So what I want to do first is so I'm going to select the folder details column and um, so I'm going to use from JSON method I'm going to select the folder details column folder details and if you are going to use from JSON you have to have a schema so basically this is kind of a string it's currently in the form of string but but when you apply from json to it you what you want to do is convert it to a json format right so and uh, we it's, if you convert it to a json format you need to basically assign a schema to it so i'm going to define this uh, a new schema called first schema the first schema is going to be new struct type and dot add i'm going to uh, use employee info as the new column then it's going to be uh, since this one is array right we're going to use array type here array and so inside the, this array what we want is basically a string so this will be uh, this will be string so string type and then uh, I can use a non label non label is true by default so you can specify it so and what I need to do is add that uh, first schema here So the next thing I want to do is now uh, I need to print this out df to dot show false uh, print okay now you can see we've got our output right so the first um, so the first uh, um, Row has this because the uh, array is empty and the second one has it because we have something in the array now we you can see we are not getting that employee right now because we have actually uh, um, we've actually they use from JSON to it so you can get this employee info by selecting for that for that details dot employee info so but what I want to do next is basically try to uh, explore this uh, um, array because right now we can't use from JSON on it until we explore, explode it so what we want to do is to try to get this uh, string out of that array so to do that I'm going to define a new data frame called df3 equal to the, okay, I want to basically select this uh, um, for that details dot employ, uh, employee info because that we want to work on employee info, right? So we have to select it. Okay, select. So I'm going to select everything using the asterisk character, and then I'm going to select for the details details dot employee info so this is the employee info we uh, 
assigned. So that is the one we're going to select. I can print it out. I'll display it. Get rid of show false. And instead of using false one. Okay, now you can see we um this is the folder details right that we applied the from JSON method onto or oh, um this is the employee info uh that uh we basically select um uh, inside the from JSON uh from folder details uh, uh column. So now you see we have this uh, work ID and um, and the grace so it's no showing properly well yeah so that is basically what we get so the next thing i need to do is basically apply um yeah i'm going to explore this one basically yeah, so you can see it comes as array right so i need to explore it so what i'll do is um define a new data frame called df4 so that will be df3 dot with column i'm going to use employee employee info then um so i'm going to use explode uh, if I use explode, since this uh, array is empty, so it's going to um, get rid of this record. But I don't want that. What I want is this record being part of the overall data frame. So I want to get null in a case where we have empty array. So. To get that, I'm going to use export outer instead of uh, export. So, export outer, then I'm going to select the column which is uh, employee info. So, if I now say df3, uh, df4.show false. Um, before I show this, I want to, um, so um, uh, in the DF4, because we don't need the folder detail, right? We are just dealing with the employee info. So I'm going to drop this folder details color. So dot drop uh, folder details. Okay, let me run it. Alright, you can see now we got first name, last name, job location, then employee info. You can see the first one that has empty array is coming as null. This overall um, data is the data type is going to be string so we need to convert it to a json format so to do that we can define a new data frame here called df5 equal to um df4 dot with column with column i'm going to select employee info employee info then i'm going to use from JSON from JSON and uh, I'm going to select the employee info column employee info so just like we apply from JSON on um, the folder details and assign a schema to it we are going to do the same thing for the employee info column as you can see here, we have two, um, um, I mean, two keys, the work ID key and the degree, degrees key. So we need to create a schema for each of these key. So let's define a schema. So the schema will be 
our second schema so the second schema is going to be instruct type dot add so the first column is, is going to be work id and it's going to come as string type and non is uh, true by default dot the second uh, column is going to be uh, the degrees and the type as you can see here the type is array right so we need to specify is as array type and inside the array we have a string data type so it's going to be string type so that is our schema so from inside the from json we need to assign the schema as the second argument so that will be second schema so um now i want to print this out for you df5.show and then i'm going to say false so if i run it again so as you can see why right, we've got this employee info and i apply the from json method onto it now we are getting this uh, type of data as you can see here uh, the this work id why right? this uh, particular data we have work id as its uh, key and this one we have degrees as its keys so um, what you can do now is basically select this uh, work id as a new column and degrees as a new column so to do that we have to use df5 dot select so i want to select everything right from the beginning then the, then i'm going to select employee employee info dot work id right and then and um so now yeah you can select them one by one but to make things easier you can just select uh, all of them together at the same time by uh, using the white uh, character I mean asterisk character so you can so after we select them right we don't need this employee info what we can do is drop it dot drop so uh, the column name is employee info then you can now show all right so this is our final data frame all right so we now have this uh this work id and the race as separate columns why right? so we now have the work id the race so so basically that is how you can deal with uh, JSON data in Spark. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and leave a comment. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.